Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers. Uh, I'm out with this news here that India has finally managed to salvage something out of this tour. They have stopped Bangladesh for doing a Bangla wars of India here. As India, as I'm talking to you, I see that Mustafizur Rahman, the number 11 batsman of Bangladesh, has been dismissed. The beautiful Yorker fired in by Ambati Raidu, the unusual of ballers, and he has actually had him LBW on the back foot. And that's it. So the one-day series has ended, but Bangladesh will go with the head side. But India would have definitely have stopped the Bangla wars. They also stopped the uh, the great um, um, the great um, time that Bangladesh was having of having consecutive wins uh, on the trot. And now uh, it is Bangladesh who have lost the final one-day international by 77 runs, with with India making. 317 for 6 today, uh, quelling the Mustafizur Rahman threat to a great extent and Bangladesh uh, have finished with 240 all out. India winning by 77 runs uh, and that is it. So India has uh, won it uh, and uh, but Bangladesh would have taken a lot of positives out of this because India came with their full strength. They qualified for the champions trophy now uh, and uh, but one thing that Bangladesh would be very happy about, they couldn't do a Bangla wash but one thing they will be happy about is that they have, they, have, they have actually won a series against India for the first time in the history, like what they did against uh, Pakistan. Against Pakistan, they did a, a total uh, Bangla wash there, but against India, they couldn't do it. India stopped them in their tracks. I'll be talking about the game, uh, about Bangladesh and India, and, but uh, what I'm going to do now um, is, yes, I'm going to look at this particular game between Bangladesh and India. I'm going to go into the scorecard, and I'm going to tell you what exactly happened. So India were the ones who were actually uh, batting first. Uh, so today they decided to uh, do some changes. In fact, Bangladesh won the toss uh, and they had no hesitation in putting India to bat uh, at the Shere Bangla National Stadium here in Mirpur. And India, well, uh, they once again, uh, the start was good. India decided that they're going to go uh, aggressively against Mustafa Zul Rahman. While doing that, Mustafa Zul Rahman picked up the wicket of Rohit Sharma once again as he was out for 29 of as many balls, with two fours and one six. Uh, and then we saw Shikhar Dhawan playing a very, very good hand, uh, making 75 runs of 73 balls with 10 fours. Uh, Virat Kohli, well, uh, I would say Virat Kohli has been a failure in this series. He trying a, a ugly swipe across the line to Shakib Hasan hassan was clean bowl for 25, 35 balls with one four. I think Virat Kohli would like to forget this series because he couldn't get a lot of runs. Uh, but Mahindra Singh Dhoni, uh, decided that he's going to promote himself in the batting order. He came at number two and he really, really made it count uh, with a wonderful partnership uh, that happened between Mahindra Singh Dhoni and Ambati Raidu, which took the score uh, with a 90-odd um, uh, partnership, which happened between uh, Ambati Raidu and Mahindra Singh Dhoni, uh, which actually took the score on to 251 uh, for the fourth wicket, with Dhoni contributing 69 of 77 Delhi with six fours and one six. Ambati Raidu also uh, contributing in a meaningful way, 44 of 49 deliveries, 3 fours, and then Shreyas Raina pasting 38 of 21 deliveries, with 3 fours and 2 sixes. Uh, Bini was not out on 17, also did a good job of 11 balls, 2 fours. Akshar Patel hit a 6 of the bowling of Rubel Hussain, a pick up 6, I would say, 10 of 5 balls, 1 four, and India went on to a tall total of 317 for 6 of their 50 overs. Mustafa Rahman today, um, uh, well, he couldn't get on to the big record if he had taken two more uh, wickets. Uh, if he had taken one more wicket, that is the number 14th wicket, uh, he would have gone, been the first person in the annals of uh, one-day international history to take 14 wickets and he would have held that record. But now, uh, well, Mustafa Rahman unfortunately couldn't do it. But I thought India played him very well. We saw Mahindra Singh Dhoni adopting a very good approach in Mustafa Rahman of uh, staying on the back foot. Uh, and uh, dealing with his uh, movement there. And most of the amount, 10 hours, no made in 2 for 57. And what a great find for Bangladesh uh, in this particular one-day series. Murtaza, 10 hours, 3 for 76, was taken to the cleaners today. Rafat Sunny bowled 6 overs, carted for 42. River Hussain was listless today. 9 overs were uh, pasted for 75 runs. Nasser Hussain, 6 overs, none for 27. Shakib Hussain, 9 overs, on made in 1 for 33. Then, uh, a, word of, uh, a word of captaincy. Mashabh Murtaza uh, led his captaincy I mean, he did. He led his troops very well. Uh, it was great captaincy. I thought he made some very good field placings, uh, rung in some very good bowling changes, uh, and he, he really made it difficult for India to score the runs. I mean, it was not so easy. And I thought um, whenever India were actually uh, playing the strokes, the ball was going straight to the fielder. So that was some very good field placement. 
and India had to really, really pierce the gap. So uh, credit to Mashraf and Murtaza for doing some great captaincy there. And as far as Bangladesh were concerned, well, uh, the, the score of uh, 340 was definitely, look, uh, 17 uh, was looking uh, pretty tall and Bangladesh found it when first, um, uh, and you know, they had nothing to lose. They had to play their strokes and double Kulkarni gave them the breakthrough by getting rid of Tommy McBall for five, by getting him LBW. And then Soumya Sarkar played an elegant knock of 40 of 34 balls with five fours and two sixes. And, and it is so good to see Soumya Sarkar um, having such an elegance, you know. The elegance that he shows is like um, one recalls probably the lazy elegance which uh, England, uh, England uh, former England great batsman David Garr, who is now a cricket commentator, had. And it was good to see uh, Soumya Sarkar uh, stroke the ball with lots of elegance. And I think he's a real treat to watch on the cricketing field when he bats. And Soumya Sarkar, well, he contributed 40 of 34 balls. He hit two beautiful sixes and five fours in a knock uh, of 34 deliveries. Uh, Lytton Das also uh, continued to impress. He still was, he was doing well. He was sweeping the ball well. Uh, he was playing very in a very calm. I like Lytton Das very well because uh, he, one sees that he's a very, very calm and composed player. And it was good to see Lytton Das contribute 34 of uh, 50 balls to three fours when uh, Akshar Patel uh, actually had him clean bowled. Uh, Mushfigur Rahim uh, contributed 24 of uh, 30 balls with one six. But Shakib Alassan, I thought, ad attempted a very big stroke against the bowling of Raina. And Raina was the one who actually put the brakes there uh, and picked up the wickets uh, pretty quickly. With uh, Shakib Alassan contributing only 20 of 21 balls to two fours out in the deep, caught by Dawal Kulkarni. Uh, Sabir Rahman uh, really showed his attacking prowess here. Uh, by really clubbing the ball to all parts of the field when he rattled 43 of 38 deliveries with six fours in a very exciting partnership that happened between Sabi Rahman and Nasir Hussain. But it was not enough for uh, Bangladesh to really uh, get on to the finishing line. Nasir Hussain was out for 32 of 30 balls with three fours. Uh, Mutaza was out for a duck. And then it was all over for Bangladesh as Sunny was I mean, not out on 14. Rubel Hussain was out for 2. Mustafa Zodayman, as I said, was out to Raidu uh, for 9. And uh, Bangladesh were all out for 240. And India winning by 77 runs. And uh, also thus India salvaging something uh, in this particular series where um, Bangladesh was simply walking away with the series. And uh, the good thing for India is that India, uh, uh, India avoided the Bangla, Bangla wash and Bangladesh won the three-match series 2-1 and this is their first ever win against India in a one-day series. So congratulations to Bangladesh for their wonderful uh, teamwork, a wonderful, uh, a wonderful play, whether, uh, whether it is batting, bowling or fielding, I thought, uh, and the captaincy. It was absolutely superb and it was wonderful to see that Bangladesh um, really were roaring like tigers uh, in their own land. As far as the bowling was concerned, Bini, Six overs, one for 41 today. Kulkarni, eight overs, two for 34, bowled excellently. Umesh Yadav, again, was costly. Four overs, none for 33. Ashwin, ten overs, one minute, two for 35. As economical as ever. Akshar Patel, nine overs, one minute, one for 44. Raina did a good thing by picking up some useful wickets. Uh, three for 45. Ambati Raidu, two overs, one minute, one for five. Bangladesh winning the three match series, two, one. So now, from here, I'm going to go on to yesterday's match, uh, which is the uh, T20 SS and New Zealand were uh, ending their... Um, a tour of uh, England and well I would say New Zealand definitely uh, ended their tour of England with a whimper as England uh, won a very very um, a very uh, exciting match I would say where England won the match by 56 runs. So England batted first uh, and uh, they rattled 191 for 7 of 20 overs. Uh, Jason Roy we saw that uh, he was showing his hitting prowess uh, when he caught McLenahan for two sixes early on and then finally he made 23 of 13 balls with one four and two sixes. Uh, Hills contributed 27 of 23 balls to 2 fours and 1 6. Joe Root contributed a hard hitting 68 of 46 deliveries, 8 fours and 1 6. But it was failures for Bairstow and uh, the captain Morgan as they were out for 1 and 4 respectively. Uh, Billings contributed 21 of 11 balls, 2 fours and 1 6. Stokes uh, stroke 24 uh, or unbeaten runs of 13 deliveries with 4 fours. 191 for 7 uh, was the final uh, tally for England of their 20 overs. Santner produced a peach of a delivery. What a delivery. One could have probably thought that he is going to be, is he going to be another Daniel Vittori in the making? Because what a delivery. The ball uh, actually defeated the Alex Hill's uh, forward prod there and the ball went on to hit the stumps. In fact, the ball spun in 
uh, and turned around the bat of Alex Hales and went on to knock the... Uh, in fact, sorry, I, I just uh, missed something here. Actually, it was uh, Brendan Mc... Uh, it was John, Jonathan Barristow uh, who was um, uh, brilliantly bowled by, um, by Michael Santner as what he did is he really uh, got a ball which spun in uh, outside the leg stump and then uh, it spun square to go and knock the off stump. So that was pretty good to see. I think that was the delivery of the day. So 191 for 7. Santner, um, I thought he bowled well. 4 overs, 228. McLean and 4 overs, no made in 237. Saudi 4 overs, 145. McLean bowling 4 overs, very good, away, 46 runs. And Matt Henry, 4 overs, no made in 1 for 32. For New Zealand, well, other than, uh, I, I mean, if you look at it, uh, I thought this was the first time that you saw that New Zealand uh, really uh, were not really up to the task as um, Barney Brendan McCullum, who started off uh, in belligerent fashion as he slammed Mark Wood for two sixes, two, uh, two, uh, two sma he smashed two magnificent sixes of the uh, ball of Mark Wood, but Mark Wood had his man as he clean bowled him for 35, 15 deliveries with two fours and four sixes, and McCullum was in a belligerent mood that time. And then we saw Williamson contributing 57 of 37 balls with eight fours, and Ross Taylor making 17 of 13 balls with two fours. And these were the only three players who actually got into double figures. Other than that, you have a telephone number coming in. Guptill was out for six. Taylor, um, um, Munro was out for one. Ronchi for five. Santa out for nine. McCullum for three. Saudi, Nathan McCullum for three. Saudi for not. Henry was not out or not. McLennan not out not. And uh, New Zealand were all out for 135. Thus, England uh, capping off. Um, and, and England uh, finally finishing off um, here uh, against New Zealand. Uh, the, it was the final match of the New Zealand Tour uh, and uh, England finished off on a high here, uh, not only winning the one-day series, also winning the solitary T20 by 56 runs. And the man of the match went to Joe Root uh, for his wonderful play there. And we had T20 debuts for a lot of people here. Michael Santon of New Zealand made a debut and what a debut he had. I mean, that ball uh, is something was the centerpiece of the day, according to me. Uh, which he bowled to Jonathan Barrister to clean bowl him. Uh, and then the T20 double uh, then saw for Sam Billings, David Willey and Mark Wood. As far as David Willey was going, 2.2 overs, no more than 22 runs and 3 wickets. I uh, would be happy with the performance that he had in his um, maiden T20 match. Finn, 4 overs, none for 29. Wood went for some tap but still picked up 3 wickets for 26. Adil Rashid, 4 overs, one for 33. 3 overs, none for 20. 1 for 2 for 24 for Adil Rashid. But um, I thought, what a series we had. I mean, the New Zealand Tour of England uh, was, uh, was one of those uh, beautiful tours because the one-day international series was fiercely contested and as I said, tons of runs were scored uh, and then the T20 match. But uh, I thought it was thorough entertainment uh, for international cricket uh, with this one-day series. Well, dear fans and scholars, before I leave, I would like to tell you that tomorrow is the second test match which is starting between Sri Lanka and Pakistan. Uh, Pakistan, as you know, they already won the first test match. They were one zip. Um, and right now, uh, this, this particular match might be in favor of Pakistan. The reason that I say that uh, is because uh, Wahab Riyaz, Vinay Khan are genuine pace bowlers and uh, this particular um, uh, pitch, which is the capital of Colombo, uh, is going to have, we call it the Pisara Stadium in Colombo, will have lots of uh, 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 grass in it and uh, it is going to definitely help the pace bowlers. So I'm sure um, uh, both the, the pace bowlers uh, would be having a field day in this particular test match. So I think Pakistan definitely have an edge uh, and uh, Sri Lanka have to really, really fight it out here uh, with their experienced uh, bowling lineup. Uh, and other than that, I don't have anything else to share. Tomorrow I'll be there uh, to give you a full match report on the first day's play uh, of this uh, second test match. And uh, we'll also have a look at certain other things in cricket. Well, dear fans and subscribers, uh, that really puts a wrap on this cricket happening show for today. And uh, I'm hoping to see you all tomorrow on my next cricket happening show. Until then, it's goodbye. Thank you.